Today I show you how to select the SIM card when you're sending a message on your iPhone. If you have multiple SIM cards on your iPhone, here I have two SIM cards, one physical and one eSIM. Open the messages up and here you have your conversations and you will see next to each chat, each text message conversation, there is a small label that shows you which SIM card you're using here. P is for primary and S is for secondary. And there is this test conversation I did earlier. I actually recorded this. Actually, I wanted to record this, but the phone was the... I actually, I actually did this before, but the camera wasn't recording, so I'll do it again. So I made a new conversation. If you want to make a new chat, if you want to make a new conversation, if you want to make a new chat, new conversation, in the messages list here, tap on this icon here to make a new. And then you search you search for the contact name or you can enter the mobile phone. And you can enter the mobile phone or search for the contact name. Just don't use landlines because most of the landlines, they don't work with SMSs, with text messages. Maybe some of them do now, but I'm not sure. So I will search for the contact name. This is a temporary phone number and if you want to tap there and it will ask you which line to use. It's, you see already you see already I have a conversation here, but if you didn't have any messages before with this number, it will be empty. This conversation will be empty. So then choose, you can choose primary or secondary and you will see here in the history that the conversation changed from primary to secondary. Now I can send a message, you can type anything here. You can really type anything here, this is just a text message, and then press send. So that's the text message. I can press send now and it's gonna go to my Android phone. You see, I received it, the previous one, I got that one from this phone number. It was asking me if it's spam or no. If it's someone you know, you should add the number to the contacts, especially because it's an unknown number for the phone, so it doesn't know it's trying to help. And this is message, I'm not gonna send it now. You just press send and it shows like this. The green one will be the ones you sent. When you're finished, this window will close. I will close it now like that. And you will have, when you're finished, you will see this window where you can get a reply from the other person. And you can also send another text message or another reply. And you can also change the SIM card. The conversation, you can change it from one SIM card to another. So this is the conversation is on the secondary SIM card and I can change it to the primary so that whenever I send another text message, it will send from the primary. This is really useful to be able to change from one number to the other. For example, you're traveling, you're, you will have another number for a while temporary. So it says number change to primary. If I send a message now, it's gonna send from the other number. And I can set, and I can set it back to secondary now. And if I set it back to secondary, it doesn't show anything because I didn't send another message. All these messages are in, in the secondary. That's how you select the SIM card when sending messages on your iPhone. You can change the settings for the SIM cards that you have enabled for physical or physical or eSIM under settings cellular. And here you can disable or enable the SIM cards, the physical SIM card, the eSIM, and also you can add an eSIM if you wanted to. You have all these options. You can add more than one eSIM. And I have another video about that. I hope this helps you send messages when you have multiple SIM cards, especially for while traveling. It works the same way for phone calls. You select the SIM card label, you give it the label, and then you can select it easily. And I, uh, whenever you have to choose the phone number, you will have a small label and you can change it. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps you.